Episode 200, Exercise, Everyday Positivity. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilsen. Finally, we have made it to episode 200 of the very best podcast in the world. Your only source in the universe for personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. Now, um, why is this episode so important? No idea. Uh, I'm not really that good with numbers, uh, but you know, somebody told me if you made it beyond episode 200, you're going to be successful. And <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Let us see about that. Uh, well, not that I didn't want to um, put myself or this show down. You know, it's been an insane ride, uh, really. Looking back at, you know, starting with the technical difficulties, you know, much more so than actually getting up a concept of what you want to do. You know, I've been, like I've told you many times, you know, it was supposed to be a serious show. Uh, and then all of these... Uh, gangsters uh you know wallet rapers wallet rapists <laughs> got got on my nerves and i started it out as this persiflage which you know then returned to something serious which uh lo and behold actually helped people uh which you know the feedback coming in has been fantastic uh you know really taking the time to produce the show has you know come uh, all the way from being a nuisance to something I really look forward every day, uh, look forward to every day rather. And uh, it's become this awesome thing, uh, which, you know, the only thing uh, which has added a certain amount of regularity um, to my otherwise rather chaotic life. <laughs> so uh, that is something definitely worth celebrating. So why did I choose uh, this or today's title for this episode? Uh, you know, when there is uh, beer to be had and wine and whiskey and whatever to celebrate uh, this obvious milestone. <laughs> and uh, why did I choose positivity? Well, because that's what's the, uh, that's what the, the main reason for uh, this uh, this podcast is, you know, it's about sharing, I don't want to say positive energy, but sharing ideas on how to improve your life. You know, it's this sarcastic subtitle of uh, personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness, which, you know, for some people has been actually a turnoff because, you know, they have this negative connotation with the word, with the word supremacy. Uh, but that's actually what it boils down to. It's to make or to give ideas and perhaps even advice to you guys out there, um, you know, to really develop your personality into something, uh, you know, totally m different from what you are now in a way that, you know, you become healthier, uh, you know, you increase your wealth by, you know, some of the uh, financial uh, non-advice <laughs> that I've given. But, you know, spreading ideas and, you know, most importantly, being happy and increasing your degree of happiness. And that's what I've tried to stay true to uh, throughout these 199 or actually 200 episodes now. And that's why I wanted to uh, have this name positivity in today's celebratory, if that is even a word, title. So uh, before we get started, housekeeping, thoughts on my own, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and uh, number two, sharing is caring. I already went into it. Um, you know, share the ideas uh, because that's how I think we as a human species actually made it so far is because we've been bouncing ideas off of each other's heads. And, you know, some of them were stupid ideas, <laughs> you know, like Bill Gates, uh, he has a lot of stupid ideas. Um, but, uh, you know, there are 
a few stick and actually have, you know, raced us forwards. If you think that, uh, you know, only 120 years ago, was it that the Wright brothers were launching their, uh, their first aircraft, you know, on at, at Kitty Hawk and uh, some 65, something like that years later, uh, we were uh, putting um, astronauts on the moon. <laughs> and uh, only a few years later, we came up with supersonic flight, you know, and all of those good things uh, that, you know, resulted out of uh, just good ideas sticking and being expanded. So uh, in that sense, make sure to share the show far and wide and um, let's get started. So everyday positivity is a lot about framing things and not so much your susceptibility to falling for framing, but how you frame thoughts in your mind and how you verbalize thoughts in your mind. And that's what this episode is about. It's supposed to give you an idea on how to rephrase things in your mind to become what they actually are, positive, right? You can take the positive out of any situation. And that's the secret that's helped me ignore a lot of the negativity that's going on in the world and it's trying to infect me, right? So uh, I've come up with three examples that I think should be helpful to bring the point across. So it's like a vice versa thing. It's like a thing you will commonly say to yourself, followed by a way that you can say it to yourself or to someone else in a more positive way. So number one, it has to work. If you listen to that, you're putting yourself under an immense amount of pressure, right? If something has to work, that's pretty much a ticket to disaster because you're going to throw so much energy at it. Um, and there is only a negative way out. Now, as an alternative, try and say, I'll give it my best. I'll give it my best shot. That's more honest. And that is all you can humanly do. So, uh, the second example, you know, it has to work like a new job that you want, you know, you're still in one, but it kind of sucks, but, uh, you know, it, it, the, your application to the HR department, uh, or whatever HR manager, it just has to work. Now, if you, you know, are honest to yourself and say, I'll give it my best, you know, and you have given it your best, honestly, then you're in a much better fix from, you know, mentally, because you're doing, you're being honest to yourself. It has to work. There's no, uh, you know, <laughs> there's really nothing, uh, there, there's no baseline to it. There's no substance to it, right? It has to work. Why? <laughs> you know, and if you put it in the light of, I'll give it my best, well, there you got it. You know, you're going to give it your best shot to make it work. And if all your papers are correct and, you know, put some effort into, uh, you know, brushing up your CV and, you know, your introductory letter, then you've done your best. And if it doesn't work, then you can say, well, okay, fuck you guys. <laughs> that's, that's it. Example number two, uh, is a definite put down that a lot of kids get introduced to during a very young age. Um, which brings us back to the Wright brothers, which, you know, says I'll never make it right. And that's why I actually chose the example. If you take the Wright brothers, right, they had, you know, it was against all odds, right. Uh, manned flight was just so far away that, uh, you know, it was, people were experimenting, uh, you know, ever since Da Vinci, but nothing really worked. And, the concept that the Wright brothers made wasn't very different, but they just made it work probably because they didn't say, you know, <laughs> I'll never make it, but they said, I won't make it today just yet, but I'm on a good path. You know, let's take that example. Maybe they flew, I, I don't know how far they actually flew. Um, but you know, maybe the next day the 
winds are better you made adjustment to the to the wings and the elevators or you know whatever and you fly another hundred meters further you know and then you just keep adjusting and finding your flaws is you know and being honest to yourself is a very important aspect of this so you see a lot is about it's mainly about framing because the distance the wright brothers flew was is going to be the same no matter how you put it you know that's that's set but the way you look at it that's the way to change your mind towards more happiness and towards more positivity last but not least i have to punish myself and as a in context to that i'm allowed a break and to get external help you know yesterday i repeatedly mentioned to get professional external help for instance for the burnout thing right and so you can punish yourself and say oh, i'm losing it you know and but you're not doing anything about the situation right and that's where this particularly in this situation it's insanely important you're allowed to take a break always just to regenerate yourself you know that's something that's got to sink into a lot of corporate environments but uh, as soon as i became a freelancer i just took a nap you know i said i'm out of here for an hour i went to the hotel laid down for 45 minutes came back you know totally fresh batteries 100 instead of you know murking around in on a on a 70 percent human battery charge right i was back by investing this hour back at 100 percent and you know just made everything so much more better right something a lot that's got to be uh, <laughs> it's a lot that's got to be learned there we go and uh, i think you know the tech companies are going going into the right direction i was working for one client and uh, they actually had a room that you could go into and rest you know uh, just to keep the people tied to the office more because you know they would stay longer <laughs> if they are you know well energized so um what's the point of this the point of this is that uh, and we're getting over and over and over back to this example it's about positively reframing your thoughts and to be able to positively reframe your thoughts to become a more positive person you need to be aware i can't stress this enough awareness is so freaking important and yet so highly underrated because you know we're running in the nine to five wheel and we have everything flying around us and we don't take the time to actually appreciate the press the present moment rather and that's where i think where we need to go so as soon as you've kind of mastered this awareness factor and being able thereby to live the present moment in its fullest in its fullest you know taking in the situation that you're in with all your senses totally alive then will you be aware to catch yourself having negative framing implemented in your head and destroying that and replacing it with positivity in that sense i hope and i was able to help some of you and uh that this show actually keeps on helping as much people as it does uh, if you've got any kind of feedback or criticism or whatever it is at the end of the day please email the very best podcast in the world.com don't forget to visit the website uh the very best podcast in the world.com and you know make our youtube channel famous we're there <laughs> so <laughs> In that sense, uh, have a good day. Have a good weekend, most importantly. And uh, I hope that we're going to be in touch for the 201st episode next Monday. Peace out. Celebrate some, but think of your, of your positive thoughts. Bye now. <laughs>